with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. You guys are rocking out whatever goals, hopes, plans, dreams, and ambitions you have for the week and are making it happen. Um, quickly, before we get started here, uh, convention tickets have gone on sale. It is doTERRA's yearly event. There's going to be so many cool, awesome things going on. A bunch of different guest speakers are happening. I don't actually know who they are yet, so that's the, some of the excitement. Um, tickets go, um, there, there is, you can attend the event in person. It's going to be in Utah, um, at the stadium where the Utah Jazz play. If you're interested in attending in person, definitely reach out to me. We'll get your travel arrangements set up and everything get rocking and rolling. There's also a live stream version going on, and that's the one that I'm super excited about. There's an option to add on a swag box that comes with tons of cool products, um, different exclusive products that other people aren't no, or are not normally uh, available for resale. So that's that's what excites me. I like getting stuff, um, exclusive stuff that other people can't get their hands on. Um, if you're interested in attending convention, um, either in person or online. Uh, definitely reach out to me. There's going to be, um, tickets go up in price in July. So definitely reach out to me now and we'll go, we want to lock in the lowest possible price. There's tons of cool things coming on. Uh, new products are being launched. Um, there's d different ways about how learning how to, um, lighten the toxic load in your lifetime or in your lifestyle, how to reduce toxins in your life. And it's going to be an amazing event. I love it every year. It's my favorite event. So, uh, definitely. If you're interested or somebody you know of is interested, definitely reach out to me and we'll get you rocking and rolling. I have officially launched a weight loss course for beginners. It is an online digital course for download. Discover five little known secrets on how to lose weight. If you or somebody you know of is interested in dropping a few pounds, especially now for the summer months, uh, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. There's tons of cool things that come along with the initial launch. And I'm super excited to get it out there into the universe for the masses to consume. All right. So I think that's all I've got. Uh, there is about $100 worth of free products being given away this month. If you're interested in free stuff, definitely reach out to me and I'll, <laughs> I will get you uh, on the path to getting free things. So what I wanted to talk about today was uh, the other day it was... Um, some sort of national productivity day. And that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit today. We talked um, a little bit ago about how to lose weight with a super busy schedule. So what I wanted to talk about here was how to be more productive in less time, right? We all, we only, we all only get 24 hours in the day, right? Seven days a week. There's not more than that. There's not less than that. <laughs> it's just all about how you use your time. Um, there was a few cer a few uh, things that I had to actually learn uh, for that that were gonna that would help me because uh, I was very much <laughs> a procrastinator. Um, I do not like to do things um, you know until the deadline comes. Even in school, right? I was really bad for that. It was like you know projects due tomorrow. Okay, fine. I guess I got to get on it. <laughs> you know projects due next week, and it's like eh, I'll get to it. It'll be fine. So, but that's why I wanted to come on and give some tips that help me, right? We live very busy on the go lifestyles. There's not too much extra time for stuff to get added. So that's where we have to be more, um, what is it? Uh, we have to use our time more wiser, more wisely, wiser, why something like that. <laughs> I think you catch my drift here. So that's what, that's really what it comes down to, right? We have to be really focused on point and know what needs to be done uh, in a specific amount of time, right? So that's where I've got some tips that help me. I want to share them with you. Hopefully they help you too. Hopefully get some value out of them, right? So tip number one on how to increase productivity in less time. You have to find your style. Number tip number one, the, the, First and foremost thing that I can tell you is you have to find your style. For me, I'm really a go, go, go person. I'm, I'm, you know, if, if you give me, see, this is where I love talking about this in terms of me and Tina, right? We are completely different people. And if you told me to do things at a rate that Tina does it, see, Tina's a lot one of those, you know, behind the scenes person and doing all of the, the research and the, and the, and the knowledge and gaining all that stuff. And me, I'm, I'm really out front 
doing the, you know, the presenting stuff. And when I learn something, I love to teach about it. I don't like to keep learning about it, right? I like to teach about it. For me, I really only have, uh, you know, a certain amount of brain capacity, right? So for me, every time something goes in, something has to come out. And that's why I like to teach about it uh, so that I can, <laughs> I can get that out and then bring new stuff in, right? So that's the difference, right? But it, that's the difference. If you were to tell me that I, you know, I can't do anything, um, you know, from a presenting standpoint for, you know, a month, two months uh, until I learn everything, until I research everything, until I'm actually 100% confident in my ability to present it, I probably wouldn't really care for that method. I would, I would very much, um, you know, d defer back to my, um, you know, the way that I'm programmed to be. Vice versa for Tina, if you were to tell her that she can't really do all the research that she needs to, you know, you have to go right away and this is your paper you are presenting, you know, in 10 minutes, this is, you know, it's time to go, she would very much tell you to kick rocks and not be interested in that at all. So that's, that's where you need to find your style. For me, I love doing things at a very fast pace. I'm always, you know, this is why I like to come on camera almost every day, right? I like to do it as much as possible. Somebody like Tina doesn't like to be in front of an audience all the time, right? So that's where you need to find your style because only when you find your style and you do things in a way that actually uh, makes you feel good and makes you feel like you want to be part of it, that's when you will increase your productivity. Number two, set better boundaries. This one is in terms of you have to learn to say no. <laughs> say no sometimes. Sometimes you have to, right? There's, there, this is really what the problem more than anything I think nowadays with society is we're all trying to, we're, we're all trying to please too many people all at the same time, right? You need to, actually it's something that I got, that got taught to me and it, you know, it's, it's really take it as you will type thing, right? But if you're not pissing people off, you're not doing your job right. You're not going to make everybody happy. You can't. There's no way. Even government officials, you know, especially nowadays, right? It's totally 50-50. <laughs> it's really, you know what? Uh, the states, they just had an election. Um, Joe Biden beat out Donald Trump by like, you know, it was like 52% of people liked Biden and 48% liked Trump, right? So it, it wasn't that far off, right? So this is where I'm talking about... Um, we're, we're very much trying to please everybody. And, you know, that's where, take that government official um, scenario, for example, right? You're, they're only trying to please 50% of the people, 51% of the people, right? 49% of the people, they could not care less about. It. Not really, right? But in the grand scheme of things, right? Their, their marketing, their messages, their focus is on the 51% that they know that they think they, they can have, that can have their back, right? And vote for them. So that's where you need to set better boundaries in terms of, you know, saying no to the things that you know aren't going to progress you forward in your life, but are just really things that you're saying yes to, um, just to try and make multiple people happy, right? This is where, like, there's certain in life non-negotiables, right? Work, eat, sleep, um, family time perhaps some sort of extracurricular activity, right? Then those are those, stuff like that is non-negotiables. But then we try and add stuff into our already busy schedule, right? For me in particular, right? Like I, if at my job, we work 10 hours every day. And then, you know, if, if we're following a proper sleep pattern, right? That's seven, about seven, eight hours of sleep every night, right? So we're talking 18 hours just spent on sleep and work, okay? <laughs> Remember, there's only 24 hours in a day. So that leaves six extra hours to get everything done, right? Grocery shopping, extracurricular activities, uh, showering, uh, eating, uh, doing some sort of rest and relaxation routine to get ready for bed in order to go to sleep for the next day, right? And these are things that can't, they, they're, it's not like you can just say, okay, you know what? Today, I'm not going to eat. Perfect. That'll give me some extra time. Okay, and then if I don't sleep, okay, that'll give me extra time. Then I'll have then I'll have tons of extra time, right? I won't eat, I won't sleep, right? Come on now, we can't do that. We can't do that. You know you can't do that because you know that, that first of all, you need food. <laughs> That's really one of life's basic necessities. But you also need sleep. 
as much as you don't really need sleep, eventually you're going to hit that, that moment in time where, you know, the, the, the switch just flips off and you're right. <laughs> right? So set better boundaries, learn to say no when you need to, and do things that are, do more of the stuff that are going to progress you forward in your life. Number three, set a timer. Beep, beep, beep. Right? Nobody likes to hear that sound. I know it. I know it. But this one is really great because I like using this one because we are, are um, at the very base of it, right? We're creatures of habit. So we do things on, you know, in, in uh, what, what is it? In, in the form of a habit, right? So when we do things and we take, I, I like using this one as the way that it was explained to me was if you set an alarm for folding laundry, right? And it takes you 30 minutes to fold laundry, right? So you set an alarm for 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to, to finish your laundry. I think it might have actually been dishes or something, but you know what I mean. You have 10 minutes to finish it. Whatever happens in that 10 minutes happens in that 10 minutes. You drop it, you stop, that's it. No more folding laundry, no more washing dishes, no more nothing. You put it down, you move on to your next task. When you come back to it, right, you come back later on to do your laundry, you give yourself another 10 minute block, right? Then you find what actually happens is your brain has functioned now and it understands that you don't have 30 minutes to fold laundry. You only have 10 minutes, right? So you got to get on, get on. You got, <laughs> you got things to do, right? You got a busy on the go lifestyle. You don't have all day to just sit here and fold laundry. So that's where if you set an alarm and give yourself a chunk of time, right? This is where we're talking about chunking our time out, right? So again, right? Go back to my example, work for 10 hours, sleep for eight hours, right? So 18 hours. So if I only have six hours in the day left over, excuse me, left over, that's where you bet your bottom dollar I need a timer. <laughs> I only have six hours to do everything else that I need to in the day. So you darn right I need a timer, right? 10 minutes over here, maybe 20 minutes over here. Maybe I give myself an extra half an hour over here, right? So we're, we're, we're blocking our time, we're setting timers, we're setting boundaries, we're letting our mind and our body know that this is all the time we have, we don't have time to be dilly-dallying, we don't have time to be fit farting around, and, no, and we don't have the patience, right? So we got, we got to get stuff done, we got life to live, we got things to do. We don't always have time to spend all the time on little, uh, you know, little things, little projects. Side note, water. Definitely be drinking your water. Actually, <clears throat> water, uh, increasing your water intake will definitely help increase your productivity. Number four, so we are talking different ways to increase, so how to be more productive in less time. Number one, find your style. Number two, set better boundaries. Number three, set a timer. Number four, track your progress. Track your progress. Get yourself a journal, right? A little day timer if you can. For me, I like using little ones, right? This one is awesome for me. Little pocket sized ones. These are the ones that I love to use. I love using little pocket sized ones that I can take with me everywhere that I can, um, you know, pull out of my pocket anytime I need to jot something down, anytime I need to, you know, write down a, uh, you know, a thought that I have or a different way that I could have done something, right? I love using the pocket sized ones and you definitely need to track your progress because you have to know, you, you, first, okay, first of all, <laughs> you need that goal. Right? You need to know what needs to be done. But then you need to track your progress to know A, if you're on the right track to, to where you want to go, and B, if you need to change anything up. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But there's an old saying, you don't know what you don't know. Right? It makes sense. So if we're not tracking our progress, we don't know whether or not we're on the right direction. And if we keep going, if we need to go this way, right? And we keep going this way, and we have no idea that we're going this way, there ain't no way we're getting over here. Not a chance, not a chance at all. We're gonna end up somewhere over here. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, that's just the way it works, right? It's just the way it is. So, track your progress, understand that you're not gonna get everything done always, and you're not gonna get everything that you want to do done, 
Okay, yeah, that made sense. <laughs> but that's where we need to track our progress because maybe we didn't get it all done, right? But we got most of it done, or we got some of it done, or we got none of it done. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We're very busy people. We don't have time to be doing everything always, right? So that's where we need to track our progress and understand things that, you know, where we're coming from and where we're going and to know if we need to change anything up, right? So jot down what you're doing. And this is also a, another thing, right? You could track um, your, your, your 10 minute timers, right? So write down in your, in your journal. It took me 10 minutes and I didn't get anywhere near <laughs> finishing the laundry, right? Or it took me 10 minutes and I actually had an extra minute or two after I finished the laundry, right? So you don't know what you don't know. That's why you need to track it. Get yourself a little journal and, um, you know, and, and a nice pen. For me, I like using a comfy pen. If I, I'm weird like that. If I don't have a comfy pen, I won't write. I, I don't like it like that. I need a comfy pen. I need something that, you know, ergonomically friendly. I need it to have one of those, uh, one of those cushions on it and I need it to feel good in my hand. Number five, sleep better. Not more, not longer, better. We got to do what we need to do in order to calm ourselves down at night and promote that relax, relax, relaxing environment and that restful state, right? You need to sleep better because if you're trying to increase productivity and you're super tired and you can't even focus and you can't even lift your head up, right? Or you can't even keep your eyes open and you're sitting at your computer desk like this with your eyes closed and you're just not even looking at anything that you're doing, you know, how are you supposed to increase your productivity, right? Let's get real here. How are you supposed to be more productive in less time if you're super tired and you can't even function properly because you're about to fall off your seat at your desk because you're just looking for some place to lay down, right? So this is where we need to do what we need to do at nighttime. And this is something that you need to do, you need to focus on every day. Right? It's not like you can sleep for 10, 12 hours one day and then the rest of the week just have 10 total hours of sleep. Right? It doesn't work like that because your body needs a specific amount of time to rest and recover at nighttime. So that's where we need to focus on sleeping better, doing things that, that can relax us at nighttime. Essential oils like lavender are great for calming, promoting that relaxing environment. Um, doing things like taking a hot bath or a hot shower at the end of the night is a great way to calm your body down. Consider something like chamomile tea or something like that, right? That tea is a great way to, uh, you know, promote that relaxing environment. That's what we need to do. Um, in order to sleep better, right? Another suggestion I can make is to turn off um, electronic devices, right? A little bit before bed, they produce some sort of UV ray light or something like that that actually uh, burns our eyes, right? So that's where we need to be focusing on uh, um, turning that stuff off a little bit earlier in the night. Get better sleep and I promise you it will increase your productivity. If it doesn't, definitely, if you got a great night's sleep and you woke up the next day and you didn't get anything done, you were less productive than the day before when you were super tired, definitely come back here and tell me how my tip didn't work for you at all and I would love to listen to that story behind that. Number six, focus on nutrition. When we're talking about increasing productivity in a little we need to be focusing on our nutrition because there's certain foods that we can eat that, well, both ends of the spectrum, right? There's certain foods that we can eat to increase our product or productivity, increase our focus, help keep our senses alive and enlightened. But there's also foods at the other end of that spectrum, right? They can really drain our energy. They can decrease our focus. They can really feel, make us feel lethargic and not really wanting to do anything. So this is where we need to, if you're looking, if you're seriously looking to increase your productivity in a little bit of a, in, in a little bit of time, you definitely need to be focusing on your nutrition. Focus on foods that help with your, with your, uh, with focus, um, with, uh, with, and with, um, I guess, I guess picking up your mood. I think, I thought I was thinking of something different, but no, uh, I guess picking up your mood, right? Enlightening your mood, making you feel better about yourself, right? You got to stay away from what, you know, like the, the, the trans fat food and the carbohydrates. They just sit in your stomach and they just make you feel like you're not really ready to do anything. Um, you know, you just want to lay down and not even be alive. <laughs> so 
that's where that's where I talk about focusing on nutrition and also right different eating throughout the day breakfast lunch dinner snacks in between your meals right it's really hard to be focused on what your task at hand is if you're super hungry right you're uh, there's that Snickers commercial right Snickers is great for this one you're not you when you're hungry and you know it's, it's like it's like this big basketball player who's Betty White <laughs> when he's hungry right so that's what I like uh, you gotta you gotta know you gotta focus on fueling your body right and making sure that your body knows everything that or, or it, it knows when it's getting food and it's also getting the right type of food to help it um, you know to, um, what to, to perform at an optimal level that's the word that I'm looking for my last tip more than anything is essential oils I referenced essential oils a couple times already and uh, a blend that I've got here is motivate and motivate is a great blend it's actually the encouraging blend from doTERRA and it's a great blend I mean this is what I love about doTERRA um, whenever you need to know what the blends are used for you can basically tell by the name right motivate when you need some motivation when you need some encouragement when you need to get more done in less time you need to be a little bit more motivated I love this one I actually like this one in the roller form um, and that way I can just roll it right on my neck have it on my pulse point stuff like that uh, another blend that I got here is Thinker, and I mean, you know, Thinker, let's get real here, but it is the Focus Blend from doTERRA, and you know, that's really what we need more than anything. We're trying to increase productivity in a little bit of amount of time. We're trying to do a lot in a little bit of time. We need to be really focused. We need to be on point on our game, and I love the way that doTERRA helps us out that way and gives us, you know, promotes... Um, the, the natural, I guess, nests of your body that helps you to promote focus, encouragement, and help you get more done in less time. That's all I got for you for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I had some fun making it. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you would like a free sample of oils just to get your hands on a little, uh, little tester before you make a full on commitment, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better week, and I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.